the quest to Camelot, Lancelot. Yes, we are, King Arthur. On horses. Stop. God, what are you doing here? I am putting you on the quest to find the Holy Grail. <gasps> What will you do when we find the Holy Grail? What does it do? It gives you youth forever. But more importantly, it gives you Pythonesque. What does that mean? Doesn't that mean resembling the absurdist and surrealist style of Monty Python's comedy series? Indeed. Indeed. I already know one fact. The cast members of Monty Python are Graham Chapman, John Cleese, Terry Gillum, Eric Idle, Terry Jones, and Michael Palin. Impressive. Wow. However, you did not include the fact that they wrote and performed in their skits. <gasps> Dang. But I do know that Terry Gillum was the only American in the group, and he was an animator and mixed live action and animations together in the skits. Wow. Really? <laughs> Personally, I believe Terry Gillum is the Python who has most of my admiration. I can't believe that in the beginning of the hit show, Monty Python's Flying Circus, which aired from 1969 to 1974 on BBC Network, he didn't perform in any of the skits. Thankfully, he later performed in the skits, as roles no one else wanted to play. What a true bot. I know, right? Did you also know that Monty Python followed the style of Spike Milligan's Q5, where they jump from absurd sketch to absurd sketch with no pause in between? Crazy, am I right? Yes. But I have to know if Monty Python did anything in performing and writing their show. Aha! Uh -huh. This I know! They are not only TV stars, but movie stars. Their first movie being, and now for something completely different, 1971. Um, another movie being Monty Python's Life of Brian, 1979. <laughs> Monty Python in the Holy Grail, 1975, Monty Python Live at the Hollywood Bowl, 1982, and Monty Python's The Meaning of Life, 1983. My personal favorite is Monty Python in the Holy Grail. It's based off of our lives, actually, and the hit musical Spamalot was based off of it. Spamalot. What a small world. What, that's my all-time favorite musical. Hello, Black Knight. I hear you're searching for the Holy Grail. Yes, I am. If the yes, I am. If the secret to finding the Holy Grail is knowing monthly Python facts, I'll impress way more than these guys. I'll even give you some pre-knowledge. With this, Cleese Chapman, an idol met at Cambridge and performed in the Footlight Social D. Oh, who can play that <laughs> game? <laughs> Did you know that Jones and Palin, and, right? And, Pal and, and Palin met at, met Oxford, at Oxford and performed in the Oxford the Revenue. Revenue. Yes, I did. Obviously, the only way to solve this is a duel. Let's go! I am victorious! Woo! I don't feel so good. It's to worship you, my god. For we, we destroyed the Black Knight. Huzzah! Now we can continue giving Monty Python facts. Yes, my first fact will be that Cleese and Chapman were offered their own show on BBC. However, Cleese didn't want to do a two-man show because Chapman was a little whiny. So he invited Palin, who he'd worked with in the past to be on his show. Palin brought along Jones and Eitel. Eitel then brought in Gillum, our animator. Thus the show began. Yes, I know no facts about Monty Python, but how did they impact comedy? I've been, I've been waiting for this question. <sighs> they were noted for the crazy plots suggestive humor, <laughs> absurdism, and sketches without a punchline. Yes, all modern comedians owe, owe a debt to Monty Python. They were ahead of their time with absurdist but straight-faced bits. They had very self-aware comedy. Not only did they make everyone laugh, 
but they were gods like you. They were. At satire. They were very well educated and great at mixing political comments about Britain. Oh, yes. Into crazy sketches. This is making me want to become a comedian. What can I do more than be like Monty Python? Lucky for you, we have some tips. These are being funny is like any other practice skill. <laughs> if something looks great on accident, film it. Take note of who you create well with. If you tackle something controversial, be prepared to speak intelligently about it. Set the scene for laughs. And take yourself seriously, but not too seriously. Wow. You guys have really impressed me with your knowledge. Here is your grill. For you shall stay young and spry forever. I can't yes! wait to be young and spry forever! <laughs>